Uh, this is the Deerfield CONCOM meeting for August 23rd, 2018, and it's 7.05, and I guess, uh, we have some new business here on the agenda, and we have a notice of intent for the uh, solar panels up on uh, River Road and the railroad property. Is Someone here for the railroad or the engineer in here? The Kyle Curry from your end. Okay, you want to come, come on up? up? Come yeah. up and I didn't know if you want to start new business first. Or <coughs> yeah, you're, you are the. This is okay. new. This is considered new. Yep. And if you could just state your name. Yep. For the so I'm Kyle Purdy from ERM. Um, we had filed an RDA last month, which. Um, after a conversation with you guys, uh, was uh, forwarded to a net notice of intent where we took a lot of the comments we had both in our site walk um, as well as Mark Stinson's um, comments he provided from DEP yeah. um, and revised our design, uh, did some stormwater calculations uh, incorporating um, the soil for the site, um, did a whole civil engineer how to treat uh, runoff for the area um, and just address that all in the notice of intent. Um, is there, I, I like to just open it right up to questions or anything else that jumps out at you. Yeah, did you, uh, did you get any info from DEP today? Or? Yeah, so I, I spoke to Mark this morning. He said he was still filing with, um, trying to get the DEP number and he quickly went through the notice of intent and then he provided. Yeah. Yep. So you did read that or yep. do you have any, uh, yeah, so comments on that yourself? Or? Yep. So um, the first one is just that WPA3 form. Um, we quantified the square footage um, that would be impacted by the project inside the buffer zone. But um, on the form, it was put underneath BVW. So that would simply be just erasing that row and making sure that buffer zone only impacts for the project would be checked. Um, then he, he, he talks a lot about uh, sediment and knowing the site soils. So um, utilizing uh, NRCS's um, web soil survey, our civil engineer, Banesh, um, utilized that to make their stormwater design and incorporated infiltration rates and runoff volumes all to come into our stormwater report. Okay. Um, and then that's, that's kind of three and four. Um, yeah, number five is what we're gonna okay. end up, and I think I mentioned it to you yep. last meeting, that you know we are a volunteer board and we aren't qualified to go through this whole thing, and especially with the stormwater management. Yep. And the kelps and everything. So we will, uh, the board agrees to send this out for a review. And of course, the cost will be burdened by the railroad or the company there for the solar. And so I will talk with Priscilla in yep. our office tomorrow and she'll try to get an engineer and firm to uh, see who's free and, you know, try to get it done as fast as possible. And it should be probably. Uh, I don't know. You, you'll have to tell me if everything looks pretty basic and. Uh... Yeah, it's. I mean, it's um, typical for this type of site, but it's site specific to what our site soil conditions are. Yeah. Um, and anything that can assist with Priscilla or the engineer you hire to expedite this process at all is welcome. And any questions they have, feel free to. Yeah. Oh, they'll be con they'll be contacting you that way. There, they work with you. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> just to, you know. To answer their questions, or you know, they let you know what what they uh, what they found, if anything. Yeah. So uh, I think that's you know that's where we would stand. And I, you know, once the stormwater management, I believe the planning board is that you have to go before. Or? Yeah. So in our last month's meeting, when we presented the RDA, a lot of questions came up about fire safety and the final um, stormwater design, and yeah. that would all be done through um, the site plan review process. 
right, and the so. special permit use that we need through the planning board. Yeah. Um, but now we've incorporated the stormwater report into the NOI. So you right. have all that. Right, they, they usually, that's what usually happens if yeah. there's some issues like this with the wetlands. You know, they, they want it approved by us first. Yeah. And usually the stormwater management's part of it, so it takes care of it for you. Yeah. That I believe, you know. That's and I, I know last time, too, we, you had a lot of questions about um, infiltration and runoff and restoration of underneath the panels. Yeah. Um, and how they would adequately treat the water or infiltrate the water um, better than the existing site conditions. So a lot of that is now dealt with in that stormwater report. Oh, okay. Is there anything? What are you doing underneath the panels to control? So the it's a restoration of um, a New England uh, specific seed type. Yeah. So it's all local. It's not invasive. Um, and actually, there's, as we walk the site there, there's some gravel pads and concrete pads out there. Yeah. They will be demoed and then returned to um, grass areas. So actually, the um, proposed restoration will have better infiltration than the existing site conditions. Okay, now is there a maintenance plan in here? I didn't... Yep. Okay. As one of the attachments is the operation and maintenance plan okay. that talks about um, Yeah, I just, lo I just looked through it quick there. Just... Yep, because we have stormwater features, grass line swales, riprap, that all has operation and maintenance attached to it. And that's all, I think that's attachment F in the NOI. Uh, not specifically. I mean, uh, that's why well, we send it out so people smarter than us can figure out what's right or wrong. I know I threw a lot at you guys last yeah. last month, but but yeah, no, this is what you know we really needed. So and uh, so I guess there's a few people here. I don't know. If yeah, we had some conversations before the meeting, and I certainly enjoy them to ask, ask the questions, questions now okay. to be on the public Someone record. To, if you could come up and... Yeah. <clears throat> and I know I wanted to see the big map. Yes, I wanted to see the big map. Yes, I wanted to see the big map. Yeah. Can we put it somewhere where everybody can, can kind of gather? Yeah. Over in the um, corner there. Yeah. You Matt, this. you might want to... <laughs> yeah, we'll see it too. Right? Yeah, we've already seen it. Yeah. ourselves here there's an existing gravel um, access road off of river road right, right there mm -hmm. and then this is what we're referring to as the northern array Got it. and that's um, mostly predominantly cleared already already disturbed mm -hmm. right. and then we have this large wetland piece that we avoided because we don't want to have any bbw impacts and then we split it down here and we have another um, what we refer to as the southern array down here okay so um between this and this this first this is you yes. right yeah. okay. Okay, this is Barbara. Yeah. This is um, Danielle and her husband. Yeah. Okay. There's Butch, there you are. Russ. Russ. Russ, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where's Butch? That's why. I'm... So um, how, how close is it going to be to the houses? Well, right, if you're right here, yeah. that's, you're not going to be able to see that from your property because you have this vegetative buffer strip between you yeah, and the yeah, well, what about this house here? About that house? So if this looks pretty close, what are you going to do yeah. Yeah. on This is the road, sides. and uh, by the way, half of this road is on my property, too, just so that you know. Uh, it was just surveyed and verified. That's my cool. house is right about here. Uh, am I going to be looking at the backs of how, this? How thing? do you know that's your property boundary right there? Just it was surveyed last year. Okay. How do you know if we're going into it or well, not? Well, so here's the fence line right here. It's gotcha. not, it doesn't, this project doesn't rely on. Yeah. This There's like a road right here now okay. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. And it borders my property and whoever well, made the road kind of wound it into my okay. property. Okay, so gotcha. what is this? What is, you, That's a gravel access road. Okay, so, so you're right putting it here and then there. Okay. What's, the, what's the next, is that fencing? Yep. Security okay. fencing. So any, are you planting anything? So once the panels are installed, right. we're going to be restoring underneath the panels 
Um, okay. Just so it holds what about the out. perimeter? What about right. here mm -hmm. along River Road and right. here? So once um, there will only be disturbance for the installation of the security fence. Right. Other than that, it's not going to be soil disturbance. Mm -hmm. So you got to leave trees there. Are there going to be a buffer of trees there? Right, that's, that's the biggest, biggest concern with most of us, is some sort of sound buffer, because the railroad produces a lot of noise. Yeah. You know, especially when they're slamming their cars around the streets. And for us to lose the existing buffer there now... We will hear everything. Yeah. And I will, because I'm right here. This is me. You're here. I'm right here. So, I and this is the south side, so all these panels are facing and I have solar, yep. and mm -hmm. so I'm not opposed to this, mind you, mm -hmm. but it's also a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. I don't want somebody on my second floor looking out and the only thing they see are solar panels. Yep. So, so I'm really... Is this, is this a better, map? it's an aerial photo to look at? Is this your house down here? This is the southern array, this little yep. piece we were just looking at, right? Yes. Here. So you've got quite a buffer between your so house So why aren't you coming Closer. There's wetland. Because in here's our 100 foot avoided. buffer zone, and that okay. was our first preliminary um, thing to avoid okay. with the design. So that pretty much. So, so I won't, because literally my property starts right here at a pole, and then it kind of goes on an angle to about here. So that's quite a distance. So none of these trees in this area are planned to be nope. removed in so any there's, way? So there's our security fence, and that's kind of our limit of disturbance right there. So we will certainly want to install our sediment erosion controls just inside the security fence, right? Um, just for construction. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, we'll remove that, and then, then we'll start the restoration of that, just right. to have herbaceous. So how many, how, do, how many panels are we looking at, and how many uh, kilowatts? Do we know? The whole project is 2.7 megawatts, the entire, both north and south. Sorry, I don't know what 2.7 megawatts equates to. 2.7 panels, I couldn't tell you off the top yeah. of my head. 2.7 megawatts. Yeah. So it's like yeah. two and a half acres roughly, maybe? No. So megawatts. Is that the equivalent to what, like, month long used to be or something? No, no. Okay. All right, right. so, no. I guess. Yeah. Um, so the drainage, now I missed this meeting that you guys already had and you might be repeating some questions that are already been talked about. So are you doing any drainage that goes from underneath the road that goes, so do you know what I'm saying? The culverts that go underneath River Road and go yep. into the large wetland this way, Right. a lot of it, all our runoff that we're treating is going into either grassland swales, riprap line swales, or we're improving this existing drainage system and kind of so pushing there's it north. So there's not a drainage area, is there? Uh, where is this? This is in the northern array. Yeah, so I think this is... But in, you know that area. It's right next to your house. Is there a yeah. drain there? No, that's down. That's the southern uh, Oh wait, this is the southern part. Oh, I'm talking about. Wait, wait, what's this? Southern. Okay. Okay. No, that this this here is the. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is the old loading dock, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See, you know what? Remember to. There's like all this wetland by right next to Ben's house. Just look. Right. Oh, this is. Right. We had an entire aquifer that runs underneath our houses. My well is 13 feet deep. That's, I mean, it, and now I have, with all this rain, it's like, I've got six feet of water in my well, like standing water. So I'm right here. Oh, there, I'm looking yep. it upside down. This is my yeah. house. Oh, yeah. But what I'm talking about, this is Ben's. Yep. I'm talking about right here. So there, right now, there's standing water on the office on the other side of the river road. Access road that's over right here, that that pipe's all clogged up. So it's on the, there all is a pipe there. there. Oh yeah. Okay. It's all up it's, yeah. So we're not doing any drain. I'm sorry. I'm Go Lindsay. Ahead. I'm Lindsay Colbert from ERM. I didn't want you guys to think I was just <laughs> walking in. Um, I'm working with Kyle on the filing. So we're not changing any drainage as it approaches River Road. The only drainage that we are um, improving is in this northern okay. section. There's some culverts that are existing already that go under River Road and then 
Some of them just continue straight under the rail yard all the way to the other side. Some of them daylight for a piece here and there on this parcel and then go back into culverts to go under the rail yard. So those will all be protected where we can. We will divert water from being added to those existing catch basins and treat it via infiltration, via the, the um, grass line swales that Kyle mentioned and some other sort of surficial infiltration features so that we're not adding or exacerbating to anything that might back up onto the river. And that's what's being, that's why we have a storm management. Right. Yeah. That's going to, to <coughs> we're going to send it out to the that you well, Basically, they're going to catch whatever's within that project right. is what they're going to be catching and treating. They're not going to do anything that's coming or going from outside of there. Okay. And you have our gravel access road throughout the entire site. Right. For any stormwater that's going this way, yeah. you have grass line swale there, there. It won't go around that way. there. It's all caught. It's there all going to go before this way. It actually right. hits. Right. right. Yeah. It'll go yeah right toward the yard. Not. I think even the grade. Did you guys take the measurements on the grade of the property? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that everything. Because I know for me, for this property, from where my house is, it graduates down at a four four percent degree four percent degree I think is that pretty close to what's happening yeah you can see the topo lines right. there these are two foot contours right um, okay but yeah we saw that initially when we did our initial design we saw all the culvert pipes that go into this wetland and we wanted to avoid you know drinking to them and just adding so yeah, what is it going to can't, can't do that right Right. So what will it look like on the other side of the road? Are we going to see gonna like do any work on this side of River Road? They won't touch anything on this side of the road. Nope. Basically just okay. what's within their project is what they're going to manage. Okay. Just in that fence <coughs> kind of dotted yeah, area. Yeah, you see there. The, the X's of the security fence? Right. That's our limit of disturbance around the entire... So all this vegetation in this area is going to stick? Right? Yep. It's all so yeah. that, that's what I was going to speak okay. to is the property owners that are here. Mm -hmm. You still have all those trees right there that are maintained. And, and rust that's, that's on the other side of the road. Yep. Um, okay. So what about the concrete pad that's here down from the old the old right here. station? Is this, that's it over here? Yep. And then oh, okay, so the road's going... Okay. That, that's, that road's pretty much... It's, that, um, that's it's, it's kind of already there. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah, and then this is that <coughs> raised platform. Oh, it's this right yep. raised line. Yep. Yep. That'll all go. That'll all be pulled yep. out. The existing mm -hmm. asphalt gets pulled out. Everything that's there seen. would be reseeded. Boy, that's oh, long, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, and that's where we're getting at, that the infiltration will be better now because we don't have an impervious surface in the middle of the site anymore. Right. So let me Is ask Is there any tracks going to be removed? No. No. Nope. So, so that's our limit here, and then here's the tracks way out here. I want to refer to the article in the Greenfield Recorder from August 5th, um, saying that there was, there was some contamination out there. That was um, the brown fields. Yep, the right. former so lake asphalt. Okay. Lake yep. asphalt. Yeah, yeah. there's still a trace amounts of uh, asbestos or something. Yeah. There. So they're, they're going to keep yeah. that capped. We're going to keep pavement yes. on that. That's not going to be disturbed. Right. Right. Yeah. That. Right. Not disturbed. Right. Okay. Right. Where's an interesting alternative? That's generating. Going uh, back onto the grid. <laughs> 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 no, the interconnection agreement is being made and it's going to be tested into the local grid. Into the local grid. Yeah. Okay, the other question is um, the transformers that all these panels are going to be uh, connected to. So there's a few electrical pads. Okay. I hate to interrupt, but yep. this has nothing to do with the Sorry. Con This is more the planning. <laughs> right, okay, let me look okay. to see if, if there's any more drainage. Drainage issues. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're starting to drift a little bit. There is going to be a setback off of River Road, and there'll be um, either it'll be left in place, or if we can't leave it in place, then trees will be replanted. So if, uh, this area, I think, there's a little bit of yeah, there's a little bit of a setback. So this is a this is the setback. So everything along River Road will be left in place, and then if there needs to be oh, there's sorry, there's a swale here. So this would have to be vegetated with low-growing stuff because it's a stormwater management feature. But stuff along River Road would be left. So how 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 thick how wide a uh, tree filled zone is this? 
can we can we take this or you guys is there, take yeah. it outside or on yeah. a truck or something? So okay. we really got to keep yeah, the sure. meeting going. Sorry, to your point, could I just add quick? So with the NOI, we are discussing um, the regulations pertaining to the Wetland Protection Act. So how the overlay affects buffer zones. It won't impact any wetland areas, but it will encroach on the 100 foot buffer zone. And that's what we address. And that's, yeah, that's in that's in this think, yeah. going to be reviewed. And that's what I mean. So all the drainage questions are going to come up to the site plan And that'll be at the plan. And, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Still the couple little things here real quick for uh, new business. We have, uh, let's see here, emergency certifications for a couple culverts in town that uh, had some failure. We had one up on uh, Keats Road that when uh, that 5 and 10 was washed out there up by the walk. So, uh, I came in and talked to Kevin, and uh, so I signed off on that uh, the 13th, and I just saw him today, and they were trying to clean a culvert on Lower Road that's plugged up, and they can't they can't do it. It's just a small little one, I guess, and they they can uh, re they got to replace it, and that should be uh, a one day thing. All right. So I'll just sign sign that and date it, and. Uh, and then I guess that's all we need is just one signature to get it going. Let's see. Okay, and let's see, sir. And the uh, old business is uh, there was a cease and desist order for Cumberland Farms with the uh, work they were starting for the culvert uh, 5 and 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was through DEP. They, they issued it. And I believe uh, Mickey is going to come up and just talk about what's been happening there or and if you could just state your name, Mickey. And... Thanks, Lewis. Um, uh, my name's Mickey Marcus. I'm a wetland scientist with SWCA in Amherst. Um, so I, I was involved in 2015 uh, delineating the wetlands over by Elm Street, with 5 and 10 for Cumberland Farms. Uh, they filed a notice of intent, well, we, our company filed a notice of intent with Cumberland Farms and the plans. Uh, and the wetland impact was to cross a drainage ditch between their property, 5 and 10, with a culvert. So DEP uh, drove by, uh, looked down, and saw that they didn't have erosion controls up where they were supposed to, uh, issued a cease and desist against Cumberland Farms, and there was definitely, uh, they, they had, you know, they built, the facility there, they've done the landscaping, but they worked beyond where they were supposed to work. So, I, I, and I don't think there's any question there. Lewis was, uh, attended a, a DEP site visit on Monday morning, I was there. Uh, DEP uh, put a cease and, desist, cease and desist in place. They required a summary of what the wetland impacts were, and they required uh, the submission of a wetland restoration plan before they can move forward. So uh, the Cumberland Farms put up a road control, stopped work in that area. They were about to start uh, the bridge, uh, the culvert. Um, and I am working on that restoration plan, which probably will get submitted early next week to you and the DEP. And so the process, what will happen is uh, 
that restoration of the work beyond where they said they would work is going to get controlled by DEP and they'll bring you know you into it but it's th that restoration piece um, will be controlled by DEP and, and, and what I calculated uh, after uh, the site visit was uh, they had disturbed 105 feet along that ditch uh, and they had impacted 780 square feet of a bordering vegetative wetland. So the, you had the ditch, which is about six to eight feet wide, and then just a little narrow couple of feet of wetlands on either side of it. That's gone. So um, one of the things that uh, DEP pointed out uh, during the site visit was there was a, a discrepancy between the notice of intent request for the work and what the orders of conditions were that the commission issued. So uh, in the notice of intent, uh, we had described uh, a wetland impact for the culvert. So even though the culvert was going over the stream, uh, there was still wetland impact, but the orders of conditions that were issued said zero wetland impact. Uh, and then uh, right after the commission issued those orders, that was in 2016, no, so I'm sorry, two, February 2017, um, the applicant came back with a change in their plan because uh, DOT wanted the culvert a little larger to accommodate a future sidewalk if they ever chose to do that. So it was a slightly larger wetland impact and at that time, the commission said it's close enough to the original plan. We don't need to amend the orders. So what, what I think needs to happen, uh, separate from the DEP uh, enforcement work and the restoration, is uh, I need to ask the commission to uh, reopen the public hearing uh, and reissue uh, an order of conditions that has the correct amount of wetland alteration. So that, that's my first request. Um, the second request is that um, following the DEP's approval of the restoration plan, uh, I want to make sure that you're okay with them continuing the work on the culvert. They need to install the... Um, um, they need to start putting in the footings. So I, I just want to make sure that you're okay with that moving forward once the DEP agrees on the plan and the sequence. So that's, those are the two yeah, uh, issues. You know, of course, you talked with Mark, and I was talking with Mark, too, a little bit. <clears throat> and he's concerned, and he says, and, I, you know, we talked about it out in the field there, about the area not being touched at all, you know, where the, where the ditch is. And it appears, and you're, the, you know, the uh, contractor is talking about he has to get in there, which isn't allowed to what we signed off on. And uh, for amendment, the way Mark was saying, we can't amend the order of conditions for that. He was saying that if you're coming up with a new or more info on how that's going to be installed, then it would need a, uh, a notice of intent. Yeah. And, 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 you know, that's, we, we just touched base a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I went back through looking at the records and stuff, and, and like he was saying that the intent was to work on both sides of the ditch. And with the uh, square footage, calculated and stuff and the way it comes out it was only a temporary area 270 yep. feet or something like that but if you if you include the whole culvert area just the culvert with the you know footings the four foot footings you're at 1150 so it's completely you know th that that wasn't the intent when the uh, notice of intent was submitted because of the temporary uh, temporary work in that, uh, I guess the buffer zone there, was, too, was temporary to remove uh, trees and uh, 
it was 250 square feet. So, yeah. you know, we were looking at it as they were going to work on both sides of the of that ditch. But yeah. if that's it can't be done now, it's completely different than what the notice of intent was intended. That's that's mm -hmm. sounds like that's what Mark was looking at, and that's I was looking through some of these some of the old. Uh, All the old uh, files in the review here. No work. This is our, our uh, from NEE. Yep. And this is part of the review. And he's telling us, and of course this was reviewed by, I'm not sure. It was yeah, a Newman Engineering. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. That uh, he says, no work will take place within the BBW and bank. The BVW within the culvert crossing area will be temporary disturbed and cleared of the woody vegetation only. So, you know, that's, you know, I went back and looked and I didn't see anything else other than nobody said how they were going to get in there other than they were going to disturb temporary on each side. And, you know, that's what we got to go by. And Mark, you know, I'll talk with him tomorrow too. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's saying you can't amend and I, I'm not real familiar with, you know, the different amendments and everything, but, and you probably know that you can't amend the uh, order of conditions. Yeah, I think, I think that uh, um, you can amend orders, and this is a little, this case is a little weird because, um, you know, one of the errors on the designer's part was that um, they thought they could do the work from both sides of the culvert. Uh, Mass DOT said, uh-uh, you can only work from, you know, the Cumberland farm side, you can't do the work from uh, the highway. So that, that meant uh, you know, getting in there and, and working in that little stream channel. Yeah, but we didn't, I didn't know, know we, that. We didn't either. No, that was, a, that was an error, yeah. uh, you know, by, by the designers. And, you know, I think had they known that and thought that out, uh, the notice of intent would have been different. And then the notice of intent did have, you know, 250 <coughs> square feet of alteration, but then the orders, you know, had zero. So, the, you know, Mark looks at it and he says, well, this is zero, but we knew there was some alteration. And then when we, when uh, the engineer came back for the modification, that, that would have bumped it up to, um, you know, um, a, sl a slightly larger amount. And Yeah, well, that's what I was, yeah. I was trying to look back to see if there was something that was mentioned about, you know, getting into that whole area, but it, it appears everything is, Related to working on both sides of the uh, it was it the, was you know for the footing at both sides of the ditch yeah and, and I think so what makes it a little difficult now is that, so now that error is completely you know obliterated uh, and trying to figure out then whether uh, you know and and, and Cumberland Farms you know did more work than they were supposed to right they didn't put up the erosion controls they didn't put up the limits of work right they so, went a little further and so, so uh, you know there's no uh, question about that. Uh, it's whether the work going forward is going to get controlled by um, the enforcement order DEP issued or, or by the commission. And it, I thought it was going to be a little of both. It well, may I think it still is. And like I say, you know, just talk, and I'll talk with Mark again, but he's saying it sounds like if you have to get into it, you know, it, it would be the probably the quickest and everything is a notice of intent. And uh, I mean, it's, you know, mm -hmm. most everything else is done. It's just that one little area. Yeah. And I don't know how much involved that would require. Well, I know it's just, it it, it, you know, it, it, it's not that, I mean, all the plans are there. It's just time. I mean, they, they've got the shorings, uh, you know, the, yeah. the material on site. They were, I think they were ready to start uh, next week, which obviously they're not going to do. So that was, that was the only issue. Yeah. But, you know, that's how I can, you know, just talk it, you okay. know, but just going by just touching base with him today. Okay. Uh, so I'll keep you in the loop, let you know yeah. what's going on. Uh, no, I rode by, I see that, you know, they got the, they got the hay uh, bales there. Yep. And, uh, okay. the rest of it looks good. It's just, they, you know, no, it's just, that it's one a, area they, it's didn't, unfortunate. Put, they yeah. didn't put anything it's down. Un and it's unfortunate, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, um, so if, if uh, the DEP determines that that work can't be done under enforcement, it needs to be done with an NOI, is your next meeting then the end of September? It would be the 27th. Yeah. Okay. 
would be our next meeting. Yep. Okay. Okay. And like I say, I'll talk to him and uh, about that. Okay. Your options, but it sounds like to me that's what that would be the way to go, or you would have to go, okay. unless they want to work on both sides of the ditch and you know. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I mean, the, 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 the issue is that it's already disturbed, so why wouldn't DP let them just put in the culvert and then do the restoration all at one time? That, that's the only issue. But that whole thing was, is, is the DEP is involved in. It, it is, they are. They, it, that's what I'm saying. They, they, yeah. They're going to control, you know, how that happens, yeah. So, but. Okay. I know it's it's a it's a, a tough thing to to put that in. And, no, uh, not, not not you know not our fault, right? It's just yeah. uh, it was unfortunate. And they kind of yeah. uh, no, I think so, yeah, you, yeah, like you say, yeah. that so. if they worked on both sides, it would be no issue, and, right? And still wouldn't be, but they'd have to get the approval yeah. from the no, state. And and you all did a very careful job, you know, in the review. Uh, Newman, you know, had some good comments, uh, so it was, it was all done properly. They just. Uh, somehow missed a step in there in the construction. So. Yeah, I guess they, yeah, they didn't look at the whole picture of okay. digging around the footings and stuff down there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see. And hillside. I talked to Mark Sensen, and uh, he said, we can't just keep, keep this going. So he said, the best thing to do is I'll have to give uh, our friend up on Hillside a call and just have him, you know, withdraw the, withdraw the uh, RDA because so, we're not really supposed to keep it going. So Figure out what just put that, yeah, we'll give him a call and just see if he'll... He's either got info and he wants to go forward and bring it next meeting or else just withdraw it, send a letter in to withdraw it. And there's nobody here for Oxford Pickle? Okay. That'll be next next meeting. The Oxford Pickle. They, the town sold uh, one section of... Uh, the area over there, yeah, by the uh, town garage. And we did a, uh, what's it, notice of intent? I'm not sure now, I have to go back and look, but, and had it all because of the brook that runs along the side there. Mm -hmm. And so we had it all flagged and, you know, marked out and everything, so. Is there construction going on? What's that? Is there gonna be construction? Yeah, they wanted to put a building from Dupont, from Greenfield. It's a machine shop type thing, I oh, think. Yeah. And they want to put something in there. So I guess they have some, you know, concerns about where the wetland is. So mm -hmm. we do have a we do have a plan to have it marked out. So so I guess there'll there'll be uh, more info coming next next meeting. Okay. And that meeting was. 27? Yep, 927. 27. Okay, uh, let's see. Guess we ought to look at the minutes. Let's do the minutes here. That. We want to look at those. I looked at them already. I know you weren't here, but just so you could see what.
looks good to me. Okay. I propose to accept the minutes of July 26, 2018. All second. Aye. 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 Okay, they've been approved. Oh, yeah, that's it. Sorry, other business there. Approved for payment. This is for our uh, Mac dues. Yeah, the Mac map dues there. So we have the money there, so we should stay in the membership side. Say we approve the uh, payment two hundred and eighty one dollars for membership dues. Anybody second it? Second. Aye. Aye. Proof payment, if you would. Okay, mail. Yeah, doesn't look like we have too much. I don't even know what when was this sent to why. Oh, this is a I'll let you look at that one a minute. This is from last July. Okay, yeah, this is just last. So, here we could. Two people sitting, figure out what to. <laughs> Former commissioners. <Yeah. laughs> so, I guess we're. Uh, Possibly future. Is there a public comment? Well, if you have questions on on something or I do. I do. Yep, come up, state your name. All right, great. I'll keep it brief because it's mostly a question that I'm wondering about. So Bill Mayer, PC, uh, 16 Captain Lathrop Drive. Um, I'm wondering, uh, it's, this is a question about the parcel of land um, on uh, corner of Mill Village and Greenfield Road that I understand uh, in 2016 was reviewed uh, by the commission. Um, and I'm wondering now that the land has been altered, how a resident would make a request that, that this parcel is reviewed a second time by the Conservation Commission. It, it, it's been altered, but has wetlands been created? Not, yeah. If there's no wetlands there, they can dig or it's their property. Okay. We reviewed it for wetlands. And that's what we do. Yeah. You know, we don't, uh, when it, you're talking almost like drainage, that's because that's the minute they put in a building or solar panels like we just had here. They're altering the, the area, so the planning board would require a storm management like we got here. Okay. Okay. So it's their, you know, we've we've done the review, and 
It's just like you go out in your yard and start digging. You want someone to say, well, oh, he's out there in his yard. You know, should, hmm. should you guys come out and look at it? And I guess you know what, what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And what I'm asking I, is. I'm just trying to make it simple, you know, because. Are you basically alleging he's altering something he shouldn't? I'm not alleging any. It, it, the land's been altered, but what I'm wondering about is from the maps that I've seen that what's been altered, I'm wondering whether it is within the buffer zone of the perennial rivers or, or lakes that are right around that property. Do you have, uh, uh, you know, I, you'd have to uh, submit plans and stuff to, uh, because, you know, I know what you're talking about, but at the time we did the review and he was, you know, there was talk of, you know, developing and stuff, but so any type of development, doesn't matter what it was, would alter it, but we went out there and we didn't see any wetlands, any issues that would would affect any of that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you know, I, I I don't really know how to explain it's it. It's a it's a you curious know? a curious question. Yeah. And see, the only know. thing is, is it, it sounds like you, too you're saying well, and some people are applying. I think maybe is he changed the area a little bit, and the water's going to move different. You know, maybe I'm wondering. I don't know. Yeah. He can't, you know, by law, you you got to keep, you know, the water on your property. It has nothing to do with us. That's like they say the storm water management or with the building department or something like that. You know, because uh, once we review it and say there's no issues, there's no reason for us to get involved. Okay. Well, and that's good education. You know, for me, as I've yeah. been wanting to get involved with the town, and I, I was curious yeah. about, uh, uh, and certainly not alleging that anything further has happened or anything like that. But, you know, uh, when I read about what we know had happened, I was curious. And, yeah. No, you know, no, it's, it's you and know. nothing we've been, personal we've against the owner yeah. of, the, of the property at all. I buy my pool supplies from the <laughs> property. <laughs> You know, uh, so. No, it's an uh, interesting question, and yeah. it's, uh, it's just like, you know, the other solar field out there in Set Right Road. Yeah. There is, you know, it's there, it's, you know, it's, it's going to change things, but it's not in the buffer zone or within the limits, so we have no jurisdiction, so there's no reason for us to get involved. We can't get involved, really. Okay. That's, that's the whole thing, we can't get involved, and, you know, yeah. it's and we shouldn't. Thank you for your answer. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. I think that's it. We all set. Mm -hmm. We uh, want to adjourn. It's 7.50. All second. All right. All right. Hope our uh, buddy there.